Hi there, Tegan Lawson with you at the Car Advice News Desk. Let's take a look at what's been making headlines this week. Coming up is the Volkswagen Group swinging the axe on numerous models. Pricing has been revealed for the new Mazda CX-9 and which car can tow a train? First up though, a plug-in hybrid that charges wirelessly. The 2017 Mercedes-Benz S500e will be one of the first production cars with the ability to charge without being plugged in. A coil fitted at the front axle works with a base plate that could be fitted in your garage. The car will direct you where to stop over the plate for optimal inductive charging. We are barreling towards an electric future and reports this week suggest the Volkswagen Group are set to swing the axe at around 40 current and previously planned models. The radical changes would cut costs and open the door to a range of electric vehicles. And it may sound dramatic, but the Volkswagen Audi, Porsche, Seat and Skoda bloodletting would free up money and create space in the market for around 30 new electric models, according to the speculation out there. High-end brands Bentley, Bugatti and Lamborghini are rumoured to be spared from the high-voltage sacrifice. There are some interesting times ahead. The pricing for the 2016 Mazda CX-9 has now been officially confirmed after a leaked document last week created a bit of a stir. With a list price of $42,490 for the entry-level Sport, there are four variants with the middle range consisting of the Touring and the GT, and the range is rounded out at $59,390 for the Azami. All will be offered in both front and all-wheel drive. The seven-seater has a 2.5-litre four-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine. Full specifications are yet to be confirmed, but safety features like blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert and city braking will be included across the range. A new rear wheel drive variant of the Ford Everest is due to arrive in September, available only in the mid-tier trend specification. The new edition would also be kinder on the hip pocket, $5,000 less than its four wheel drive equivalent. It would come with the same 3.2-litre engine with a six-speed automatic transmission, three-tonne towing capability and seven seats. We can also expect a host of new standard features, like an eight-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as twin Isofix attachment points in the middle row. According to reports, Alfa Romeo is set to launch a big new sedan in 2018 to again rival BMW and Mercedes-Benz. The new member would sit above the Giulia sedan in the Italian lineup. It'll likely be a rear-wheel drive with a range of powertrains including a plug-in hybrid, a six-cylinder diesel which would be a first, as well as four-cylinder turbo petrols and diesels. The premium sedan would lead the charge with eight new models set to be launched by 2020. Do you struggle to park your car? Well, you're not alone apparently. German tech company Bosch has developed a way for your car to park itself. Home Zone Park Assist allows your car to be trained to repeat the same parking manoeuvre, so it is really designed for a home. It's linked to a smartphone app. It does sound pretty cool, but surely this is one of the laziest assistance systems ever. Yeah, sure, there are plenty of cars with impressive towing capacities and the winners of strongman competitions smash them to smithereens, but Land Rover has thrown down the gauntlet. The Discovery Sport on paper can tow two and a half tonnes, but it has hauled a train more than 60 times its own weight, a distance of more than 10 kilometres. The diesel SUV towed three carriages along a track in Switzerland. The only modifications were special rail wheels to keep it on track, probably the only time this big SUV has truly handled like it's on rails. There's no denying the future of the motoring industry is looking incredibly exciting, if a little polarising. In the past week, two new concepts were unveiled that certainly sparked the imagination. Mini unveiled its Vision Next 100 concept as part of centenary celebrations that also saw the release of a Vision Next 100 concept for the Rolls-Royce brand. The Mini highlights ideas including adapting to the driver's moods and current situation. It's electric with sweeping glass panels that offer panoramic views of the surroundings. Meanwhile, the Rolls-Royce Vision 100 is a glimpse into a visionary future. We don't often see concepts or previews from this luxury brand, so it's quite a special insight to see what might be in store according to Rolls-Royce. As you'd expect, the key themes revolve around creating a sanctuary for an effortless journey and a grand arrival. What a crazy looking thing. From a futuristic concept to a raw and right now design, 
The Jeep Renegade Hell's Revenge concept was unveiled for the 25th European Harley Owners Group Rally in Slovenia. With flames licking the bonnet and a dash design that's on fire, this Renegade is a one-off. Though given the enthusiasm Jeep has for special editions, I think this one could be on the money for those looking to make a statement. It has black denim trim, Nappa leather, a suspension lift kit, black alloys and off-road tyres. What's not to love? It's no secret that here at Car Advice, we have a little bit of a thing for Lego. Check this out, the Lego toy company has released a Volkswagen Beetle Type 1. Made of 1,167 pieces, the 1960s Blue Beetle has been carefully modelled on the real thing, with curved fenders, roof racks and a surfboard, folding seats and even a speedometer. You'll find more on these news stories plus new car reviews at caradvice.com. I'll be back with more news headlines next week. Until then, ladies, remember the rear vision mirror is not a makeup mirror. Honey, the lighting's all wrong and you could easily poke your eye out.